Hello and welcome back to Albion Online and it's Tuesday so it's time for Tuesday's top 10 tips second edition. Tip number one. Okay so here we are with our old friend confused one and we're going to go over why it's important if you're playing as a solo player in PvE and you just want to farm up some feigned silver whatever it is to use cloth okay. So, with cloth, you have a natural attack bonus of 53%. Now, if we compare this to plate, you can see we only have 5%. So, it's a massive amount of difference. And if you're going through, like I say, dungeons, whatever it is, fang farming, you, you will do it so slow if you do it in plate, and you will do it so quick if you do it in cloth. Part of the... Um, 53% is made up of a passive ability called aggression, which is the one you will want to pick almost all the time unless you're in a build that relies on very ca very fast cast speed. Tip number two. So, we're using cloth. Now, the downside to using cloth is you aren't so tanky. So, you go down your dungeon, you're, like, you're trying to clear it, and you, inevitably you end up like, taking a bit of damage and you're like oh well you know you said this was quick and clearing like I've got to now wait for my health to heal well you don't there we go all done move on to the next pull so for PvE and all chess pieces have this mend wounds is a really good idea to use unless you're in a, a, a build that has another ability which is better this is generally what I would use for just for yellow zone PVE type things, I would use Mend Wounds. This also um, replenishes your energy. So if you're in an energy heavy usage build, that will also replenish that. Okay, tip number three. Okay, when you're out in these royal zones and you see these portals, these go to the roads. Okay, now the roads are black zones and you will lose all your loot if you go into them. So as a new player, You've got to be very wary. But some of that's um, useful even if you are going to the roads is when you're in these zones, okay, if we look at the map, we look at the ones that are adjacent to the royal cities, and this is the same for any of the royal cities. If you go in here, if we look, there's a charge gone now. But this is where gankers will go, and they will patrol these zones. They will go into these um into these portals and they will be in that zone ready to gank you if you go in um, I'm not saying you're going to get ganked every time you go in but it is far more likely it's better to go away from a city by at least two zones and also make sure you don't go into one with a blue one if you're solo just go into green ones that way you are ensuring there's less likely to be a gank squad in there because it's far more hard for them to get more than two people through a green portal. Tip number four. So to analyze your computer and um, internet performance, you can enable here your FPS and your ping. So all you need to do is put in slash FPS, and that switches it off if it's on. And slash ping or switch it off so it's like a toggle so now if I do it again ping back on FPS back on so you can see how well your computers performing how well how well your networks performing what sort of lag you can expect you know here I am on my island everything's pretty good but when you're probably in a ZV0 a really busy zone these these will go down so that's useful for you to know what's happening tip number five Iron capes. When we look at a cape, okay, these are the, the faction capes, etc. They have abilities on them. And so if we read the text, we can see the ability. And it's all on timers and percentages. So five seconds, 50%, 50%, you know. If we go and buy a more expensive cape, so this is 127. 
This ability doesn't change. It's exactly the same. The only thing we gain is a reduction in the cooldown. As we can see, it says 59.2 seconds now. And we get a little bit more energy and a little bit more energy regeneration. But it's very little. You go back to there. And you hover over that. There's literally a few seconds difference in the cooldown. And it's a lot more expensive in comparison. So when you're looking at a cape that has an ability such as this, which isn't damage based, it's very often just sit, it's a lot cheaper to go for the flat four. It's worth checking the point one. Sometimes they're cheaper, weirdly, but yeah. So when you come down to a cape that has damage on it, though, the opposite is true because this thing 173 damage okay so when we go up to the ability at point three a lot more damage 225 so there you are it is worth buying the more expensive cape but with capes that just have abilities that are percentage based or such as the undead cape which is just you go invisible going higher tier makes no difference to that it just gives you very small amount more energy and it isn't much and it also reduces that cooldown, which very often, it's not going to save you very often. So in my view, for those capes, so Undead Cape, um, Bridge Watch Cape, quite a few of them, just go for the flat four. On to tip number six. So if you have, as I recommended, you do ground out premium or bought premium, you will get a thing called focus. And that you get 10,000 points a day. That will go up to 30,000 and then it will stop and you will no longer receive any more. So you've got to use it. Otherwise, you're literally losing money. Now, it's debatable what the best way is. Um, some people say refining. Some people say crafting. It's all a bit of a maths game. And um, it can be a little bit complicated. You do need to add everything up and work it out. So when you're first starting in Albion, you probably don't want to be doing that. You're probably not ready for that on top of everything else. So one thing which I will stress is not the most efficient way of using focus, but at least you're not wasting it, is just, just use it on your, on your island. Get your crops. Harvest your crops. Then when you, when you plant them, replant them, you just water them. And that will use your focus up. And also that gives you an increased yield, gives you more chance of seeds, different on each of the individual crops, but you are using your focus rather than waste it. You can look as you go into the game further, you can look at finding better ways of, um, of using your focus, but it's a good way of using focus if you haven't got anything else to use it on. Tip number seven. So when you're buying items in the marketplace, a very useful thing to do is to check the quality, okay? So if we look, 68,000 and the quality here, that's the normal quality. If we check the other qualities like outstanding, 74, excellent, 74. Well, this is a lot better. Look, 180 kilos carry weight compared to 157. And they don't cost much more, so it's always best to check through the qualities. Masterpiece, they're always expensive, don't bother. <laughs> they look good though. But and no, there are reasons to use masterpiece, um, but I will go that over that another time. But check all the other qualities if you're just looking for value for money. And that applies not just to bags, to all items. Tip number eight. So Reaver level. This is something that people frequently don't know what it is when they're new players. And it basically gives you bonus damage to a certain tier and above of mob. And it basically goes up um, incrementally from Reaver all the way up to Elder. And that takes you from tier 3 to tier 8. And as a rule of thumb, you will take on mobs that are of that tier. So if you're only um, journeyman, you would probably only kill tier three, and then tier four, and then tier five. You can kill mobs that are higher tier than this, but it's just gonna be slightly difficult. And it also unlocks expeditions of that tier 
also. Already we're up to tip number nine. So, um, very often when you're doing stuff in yellow zones, etc., it is all a good idea to faction flag. In fact, I would do it all the time. Um, it's very not that often you get ganked, and as long as you're on your toes, you, you, it won't happen very often. And you get these points, faction points, and you can spend these on stuff from the um, faction NPC. Now, some people will tell you to buy hearts and say that is your best uh, um, way of spending your points, and some people say to buy chests. Now, for me, it's it's a little bit more complicated than that, but not much. If you want money, if you want silver buy hearts. If you want fame and some silver, buy chests. So, you know, say you're grinding out your first premium or you really need money, just buy the hearts and sell them. If you want to, you know, you want silver but you also want um, fame because you get books in these which are very good value, buy the chests. And finally, tip number 10. And it's to do with mounts, okay? So, when we can see, when we have got off our mount, but we are within this circle. We can easily mount back up. We just click on it, and it's really quick. Okay. If though we go outside and our mount disappears, look how long it takes. This is a very long time. If we're in a PvP situation, this could be quite bad. So, for instance, we're fighting this mob, and let's say look, we're fighting over here. This mob casts an ability and we want to move out of it and we get dismounted if we're in like a black zone we're now really vulnerable to being ganked so we want to make sure we always stay within the mount circle it's very valuable particularly in pvp zones because you don't want that so just to end the video, um, I want to point out that every Friday, um, now I'm streaming the game again, I do a little giveaway um, and from Treasure Island, and I, I was fortunate enough to get some of the um, new stuff from the mists. And I'm going to be giving some of this away, definitely this one. Look, I even got a masterpiece. It's not point four, which is a shame, but I don't know. <laughs> That's going to be hard to achieve at the moment. But yeah, so I'm going to be giving this away. Um, and a load of other stuff, um, so please come along to the stream and um, you might be in with a chance of winning some of this stuff. Um, also, please give me some comments. I need your feedback to tell me what I'm doing wrong, to tell me what I'm doing right. If you can just pass some comments down there and um, as long as they're constructive that would be really good. Also, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. I don't have that many subscribers yet. I would like to get that number a lot higher. And um, hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye.